We have an update for you on an elderly man's home in Dodge County that was destroyed in a tornado last year. 41 NBC's Joy Dukes was in Greston. She has more. Right, Michael, I'm here in Greston, and you may remember a story we covered about a year ago of an elderly man whose home was completely destroyed by a fallen tree after a huge storm swept through the area. Well, as you can see behind me, there's been some progress made here getting him a new home, but he and a neighbor who's been helping him out say there's still a lot of work to do before he can move in. Don't look at the appearance of it now. Just imagine what it will look like when it has home sweet home on the door. With help from donations, Glenn Carr is standing far from where he was one year ago today and closer to home than ever. A lot of things have happened. Uh, thank God for the trailer. The money that come in, came in for the trailer. We got a trailer here. Since the storm that destroyed his home in Greston, friends and neighbors have helped get the tree removed, house torn down, and helped him buy a new mobile home. When our dad saw somebody in trouble, they did something, and we do the same. But with money running out and several structural repairs needed on the trailer before he can move in, Carr's longtime friend Robbie Tripp says they're at a standstill. The biggest problem we have is a septic tank. This one is out of code, will not work. They're about $2,000 on quotes we're getting and some very much higher than that. But we need help. Holes in the roof of the trailer and no electricity are also problems along the road to finally having a place to call home. Despite new obstacles, Carr says he remembers hearing God speak to him on that stormy night one year ago. Those exact words were, I am already taking care of this. He and Tripp are hoping his story will speak to others who can lend a hand. If you're looking to help out, you can send your donations to Citizens Bank and Trust in Eastman at P.O. Box 4541, or you can call the bank and say you're looking to donate to the Glenn Carr Fund. Reporting live in Greston, Joy Dukes, 41 NBC News.